So with the new phone S10 Plus, Samsung has actually removed the LED notification light that was in your previous phones. Um, we got to fix that in this video. So let's get started. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. This is Rajat Gupta. So let's get started. So let's see what the current situation is and how it's actually possible to get a notification light on your S10 phone. Um, let's try to uh, send a message to my number and see what happens. Wow, that is the notification light on your S10 Plus. See how cool it looks, right? So if you also like to get a notification light on your S10 or S10 Plus phones, it's actually really easy. And uh, what you need to do, just visit your Play Store and uh, type this name called Always on Edge, Edge Lighting. As you can see, it's right there in the, in the dropdown. Click on that. And this is the app that we are talking about. This is a really good app. Uh, it's a free app, you know, and um, being a free app, it uh, does give you a little ad when you save your changes. But uh, I've been testing this app for like two weeks and uh, it doesn't slow your phone. It doesn't give you any pop-up ads, uh, doesn't affect your battery at all. So it's a really great app. So let's install it. And after the app is installed, just wait for it and uh, open the app. You'll actually need to do some settings on your phone, uh, you know, configure the app to actually work on the different kinds of notification that you uh, have in your phone. So um, just click on the settings button here. And you see it actually has lots and lots of options. It might look really complex to you at the first instant, but let me guide you. Setting this app is actually really easy. So uh, for what you need to do, actually uh, allow this app to run without restriction. Uh, so click on this uh, button and uh, allow. And uh, when you scroll down in the app settings, you see there's a, there's a button called, there's an option called when a notification comes, click on that. Allow the permission. You will have to uh, do that, you know, all the time. So when you're done, your permission is needed, click OK. Allow, enable. Uh, you'll have to enable that in the notification panel also. Go back. I like to keep this option as always, on or off always. Uh, this is because, you know, it's a really uh, good looking notification light. So I want to see it like, you know, most of the times. Also click on this button called reminder. So what it will do, it will actually uh, remind, uh, you know, that the notification light actually will keep coming again and again until you uh, check the notification on your screen. So yeah, check check this button for reminder and what I like to do actually reduce this time from 30 seconds to 20 seconds because I actually want to see the reminder notification every 20 seconds, you know, frequently. So I like to do that. Uh, this option is also good if you like to do that. Uh, don't run if the battery level is less than some per percentage that you specify. But I'm okay. My battery, uh, you know, really uh, runs out. So I'm not going to do that. Yeah, one good thing to note about this app is that it actually runs always in the background. It's always running. But as I mentioned before, um, this app actually consumes less uh, less battery. Like, uh, you know, I've been using this app for two weeks now and I haven't seen any pop-up ad. I haven't seen any battery issues. So I really like this app so far. And now if you scroll down, um, then you will see enable edge lighting. Uh, make sure this is enabled. And then uh, we, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to uh, check, check this option. It's called around notch only. So this means this is the notch that we are talking about and uh, the notification will actually, the, the lighting will actually come uh, around the notch. So this is the option that we're looking for. It's called edge style. And this is how you can actually customize your notification light. As you can see, the notification pattern is actually shine. If you click on sparkle, then the notification lighting changes. The pattern actually changes. Uh, you can actually play around with the setting and you know, you, you can see uh, which one you like the best. For me, I think I like the crash one uh, the best. So, you know, this is what I, uh, you know, looks really cool. Uh, it follows you. Uh, so I, I like this one the best. So I'm going to keep it as crash. You can actually play around. There are like, a lot of settings, a lot of uh, patterns for your, uh, for your app, for your notification light. So I'm going to stick to crash. And then uh, the second option that I like to actually highlight here is the edges color number. So I'm going to select uh, color waves because I actually want, you know, different color style. I don't want to stick to one or two colors. So I selected color waves. So that way you can see it's a multicolor uh, notification pattern. So uh, I'm going to do that. And um, you can also play with the edge speed and the thickness. If you increase the thickness to, you know, uh, then, you, then you can see the, the, the pattern actually, uh, the lighting actually increases. 
the size of the of the light actually increases so uh, you can actually play with that setting i think uh, the default number six uh, looks good to me so i'm gonna keep it as three as three and six so this is this looks really sharper sleeker you know really good looking and uh, so far this is uh, this is pretty much it uh, from this from this app that you need to configure if you want to play uh, play around with this with the configuration you can do that i leave that part onto you don't get uh, really annoyed you know seeing so many options just uh, stick to what you want to do or maybe you know if you want to make it easier just select what i actually showed in the video and when you're done with the settings click on the save button and since being a free app it will actually uh, you know show you some ads but uh, click on the free button and uh, I've seen that I actually don't see any any ad when I click on the free uh, to save the options uh, uh, I'm seeing that today this is how you know that what did this free app work so as you can see it actually shows you settings saved successfully and then we can close out and then exit out of the of the app by swiping up and that is it this is how you have actually configured the always on edge on your on your phone and it's actually ready to be tested so after installing that app uh, i think uh, you know i'm actually ready to test the uh, test the notification light on my phone again so why don't we uh, send, a, send a text message to uh, my number and see what happens uh, it looks pretty cool you have um, you know entire edge lighting as well as um, the notch lighting uh, also it looks pretty cool uh, however i'm seeing this uh, clock on the center so what you can do you can actually um, you know go go to the app again and uh, configure it to remove the clock so if you scroll down you can see display clock you can actually you know uh, uncheck that and you won't see that clock uh, when you, whenever you have a notification on your screen uh, but yeah don't forget to save this uh, setting and be ready to see the ad and this is how it works you are warned yes uh, you can see settings have been saved settings are saved successfully uh, you can close this out saving uh, being a free app i think uh, it's really great app uh, you know so there are two other features that i forgot to tell you in this video uh, so let me show you uh, drop, drop down your notification panel and uh, go to button order and uh, you, when you scroll right uh, actually on top you'll see always on edge which you can drag and uh, place it on your uh, buttons and click done button so that you know if you uh, if you want to turn the app on or off anytime you can actually uh, just hit the button and turn it off you don't have to uninstall the app just clicking the button on and off you can you know you can just toggle between the uh, between the app you can enable it you can disable it anytime and if you keep holding the button you will actually open the app and if you scroll down uh, here's an option to actually uh, customize the app customize the notification for every every application you have in your phone for example you can select the notification color for whatsapp to be blue for facebook to be green you know and and, and even different patterns so you can actually click on that and uh, it, it will show you all the apps that you have in your phone and uh, you can customize it accordingly you can uh, uh, you can you know choose different color different pattern of notification for different apps in your phone here you go you finally have missing led notification light on your s10 and s10 plus phones if you like this video uh, hit the like button and share it with your friends because uh, there are many more videos coming on this topic and subscribe to my channel all right guys i'll see you in the next video